sterilize women and to make them come out of their homes and engage in uh, uh, mobilization. But it's happening. It's happening. Because these very community leaders from Andhra Pradesh and now of course from states like Bihar also, they are able to create this kind of uh, commitment and participation. And why they are able to do so? Because they are able to relate more to these people. That is the strength of this program. We are only there to facilitate. To me it seems this is the program of the future. The success of any other program of either government of India or, of, or of any state government would largely depend on the success of this program. If we can capacitate these institutions, they would demand their <coughs> entitlements, their rights and services from the government, whether it be local self-government, whether it be state government, whether it be government of India. Even if some, some of us do not want to work, they will force us to work and do our duty to make sure <coughs> that what is meant and what belongs to them is fully secured by these very institutions. So therefore, this is, this is a program of the future and I am so happy and so glad that the kind of enthusiasm and commitment I see here in this room is uh, so much that this program will succeed, I have no doubt in my mind. I do not want this program to be a precursor to any other program. Like SDS, why was a precursor to this program? Somebody said, I think this Anil Kumar, Mr. Anil Kumar from Rajasthan said, this has to be the last and final program to address and eliminate poverty from this country. That is the bottom line. And I am sure all of us can make it. Particularly each one of you can make it, not me. I, I sit in Krishi Bhavan. <coughs> And our people can make it, and they have the capacity to make it. Therefore, I would again come back to this point that we shall eliminate poverty with the full cooperation of our people at the cutting edge level from this country in the next 15 to 20 years. Thank you so much.